Are you planning a trip to Charleston and trying to decide which of the Charleston SC beaches is the best destination for your bachelor or bachelorette party? If so, stick around. Because in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about each beach so that you can decide which is the best one for you and your crew to go to. I'll also give you four crucial tips you need to know, and at the end of this video, I'll let you in on which beach is my personal favorite and top choice for bachelorettes and really any group of people who like to party. <laughs> this video series is derived from the Bachelorette Party Planning Handbook. This digital guide is loaded with my best travel content and resources, and it's free 99. So head over to my website, bakermanning.com to get instant access. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell to stay in the loop and get notified when I post new videos every week. The top three Charleston SC beaches for a bachelor, bachelorette party, or weekend getaway are Folly Beach, Sullivan's Island, and Isle of Palms. Each beach has its own unique vibe so you can find the perfect spot for your squad. Whether y'all batches be lazy, crazy, bougie, or boozy. How would you describe the vibe of your tribe? Leave a comment below to let me know. Folly Beach is more geared towards young people who are looking to get their drink on, whereas Isle of Palms is more family oriented and Sullivan's Island is somewhere in between. But my personal favorite and top choice for a big group is Folly Beach. Folly Beach is a barrier island located only 12 miles from historic downtown Charleston. Folly Beach is the most popular destination for surfing in Charleston, which attracts a lot more young people who like to surf and or party. This is one of the many reasons that Folly Beach is the best beach for your Charleston bachelor or bachelorette party. Be sure to check out my video all about the five reasons Folly is the best beach for your bachelor or bachelorette bash. Sullivan's Island is more of a laid-back, family-friendly beach. It's located nine miles from historic downtown Charleston. There are not really any waves along the ocean front on this barrier island, but there are miles of pristine coastline that make it one of the most popular destinations for windsurfing and kiteboarding in the southeast. Of the top three Charleston beaches, Isle of Palms, aka IOP, is definitely the most bougie and family-friendly beach with the most strict police. It's also the farthest distance from downtown historic Charleston, about 17 miles, which is usually at least a 25 to 30 minute drive without traffic. On the bright side, the Windjammer can be fun and the Wild Dunes Resort has a great spa, golf course, and an outdoor pool. Lastly, here are some crucial tips you need to know before you go to the beach regarding traffic, transportation, alcohol, and liquor laws. On a good day, you should be able to get to any of these beaches from downtown within 20 to 30 minutes. However, in the peak summer months, you can expect a 20 to 40 minute delay due to heavy beach traffic, especially if you go between the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. In the summertime, if you're trying to leave the beach, it can be very hard or even impossible to order an Uber, especially for large groups. I highly recommend arranging transportation to the beach ahead of time with a company such as Crafted Travel or Charleston Affair. In recent years, the law has changed and it's no longer legal to drink on any of the Charleston beaches. Officers patrol up and down the beach all day on four-wheelers. So if you decide to bring alcohol anyway, which many people do, be discreet. Never have an open beer, can, or a bottle of liquor in view. Your alcoholic drink needs to be in either a solo cup or, more ideally, a reusable insulated cup or canteen like a Yeti cup or a Hydro Flask. Also, very important, don't forget that liquor stores are closed on Sundays in Charleston, which means you can only purchase beer or wine, so be sure to stock up on Saturdays before 7 p.m. if you're trying to have a Sunday fun day on the beach. So to sum it all up, all of the beaches near Charleston SC are beautiful and unique, catering to a diverse group of beachgoers and travelers. But when it comes to a bachelor or bachelorette beach bash, my personal favorite and top choice is Folly Beach without a doubt. So stick around for the next video and I'll explain why Folly is the best choice for your batch bash. Also, be sure to visit bakermanning.com to check out my free bachelorette party planning handbook plus my best travel resources and content. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your fellow ladies and don't forget to comment below and describe the vibe of your tribe. Boozy, bougie, lazy, or batshit crazy.